Hi lovelies, this is Blossom Girl TV and I am coming to you with my suggestions or what I think you should do with an IEP. Excuse my appearance, this is a rest day, we didn't go to speech or whatever, I just needed a day off. Yes, sometimes autism moms need a day off, but I wanted to do this video because one of my subbies requested it. And I am nothing but about the people who follow me, so I am giving it a shot. Let's start off with these two types of things with IEPs. There's IEPs where kids have literally never been in school, and then there's IEPs where kids have already had IEPs and they've been in school already. And an IEP is a individual education plan which is usually done for special needs kids or kids that need a little extra help like reading writing or a 504 plan is more medical okay there's a medical need or whatever but an iep is to help with the learning process so i'm going to start with our first iep ava was two and some change and uh, early intervention only goes as far as three years old in Massachusetts. So she would have been then transitioning into Boston Public Schools. What I didn't like about the IEP, it was like a mob sit down. My friend uses that word, Yahara, a mob sit down. Like all these people knew they could play me because I wasn't aware of the rules, the laws, my rights, or whatever. I was very intimidated from the beginning. Um, I was so intimidated. And just the setup of the evaluations, I was so intimidated. But the tone of the woman who was doing it, like, you take what I give you and let it go. You know what I mean? It was that tone that just threw me off. So I started looking for an advocate. I started calling around to find an advocate and I found an advocate and he gave me a discount which I think it wasn't by the hour it was in total like he just gave me a flat rate and to be honest he didn't do much but when he was sitting at that IEP them people's tone was totally different their tone was different the way they talked to me was different not the evaluators the evaluators were cool I'm talking about the people the person who actually conducted the IEP and put it together and put all the stuff together and the suggestions, her tone was totally different. I guess she knew, you know, you're not just dealing with a parent who didn't know something. You're dealing with somebody who could counsel this parent legally if you try to play her. So what had happened was Ava was nonverbal. She's still nonverbal. She's almost six, but she was almost about to be three and she had no words so i was like why is there only such a little bit of speech why is there only such a little bit of aba like i wasn't happy with the services so i signed the placement but i didn't sign the services right um and you have a right not to sign anything right and from what I'm told just because you doesn't sign it don't mean they're not going to give them what they already suggested. So don't assume just because you didn't sign it that whatever they give they you know put in the IEP they will give them even though you didn't sign it. But I had to sign the placement meaning she got into a preschool or whatever. So uh, when I foregoed her going to school the day after her third birthday because I wanted a particular school. I wanted the school this other autism mom was going to. And they said, well, it's full now, but if you wait, maybe she'll, there'll be a placement, which actually happened. She actually did get the school that I wanted. But at this point, I had already, uh, found the autism center and put her in autism center so uh they had a hearing set up because i refused the services I, I had an issue with the services so they had a hearing set up which we didn't go to because she was in the autism center so my advice if i had the knowledge i have now doing the same thing is i would definitely 
go to all her providers and ask, what do you think? What do you think the school system should do and what she needs, right? I'd go to the development of pediatrician. I'd go to the speech. I'd go to the OT, whoever the um, early intervention or whoever's conducting this. And I would work out, well, what do you think? And, you know, come to a consensus and get them to write a letter, maybe notarize it and send it to the people doing these evaluations and bringing up in the IEP to say, look, her providers say this, and this is what I want. Okay, so if they argue against you and say, no, we feel she needs less. I'd be like, okay, well, if she needs less, what is the parameters of progress? So, you're saying she needs less, I'm saying she needs more. So, if we go with you, what are your parameters of progress? Is she going to say a word, whatever, which is stuff they really can't predict. But I want to see what their parameters of progress is. What do they consider progress? And I'd be like, well, I want it written in the IEP that if she doesn't progress to this point, let's say, let's give it four months, three months, whatever then we will reevaluate this, you know, if you don't win the fight. So put it on them to say, look, what's the progress you're saying she will do? And if she does it, what, what, what happens after that, you know? And don't feel afraid to ask any question you want, you know? And if it's complicated, tell them to explain it to you. And if it's not your first language, if English is not your first language, have them have a translator there for you. Exactly. So let's move on to kids that already had IEPs. So you're doing, you know, the renewal or the update or whatever. Make sure you have a copy of the original IEP I, let's say there's been three. Have all three. Make sure they're not repeating goals. Because that means that they're not getting it done. The goals are not being met. And that could be your case for out-of-district placement. Which is a fight. It's not easy. Or whatever. But look at all IEPs and see like, well they said she'd meet this goal the first time. And three IEPs in, we're still at that same goal. Then maybe you have an issue t teaching my child. What is the problem? What is the boggle? What's going on here? Why is she not progressing? You're the one who created this goal and she's not even completing this goal. So what do you think? And then equally, not the school, but if you take them to an outside speech or, or talk to your developmental pediatrician and be like, what do you advise? What do you think they should be doing? Whatever. Do you feel this school is living up to what is needed for this child? Because you might in turn have to fight for out of district placement if they're not educating your child. You need to look at FRAPE, F-R-A-P-E. And that's supposed to be the law that your child needs a fair, equitable education. My biggest beef was I didn't want Ava Warehouse, like, sat in a corner and babysat and sent home and not learn anything. That is my biggest beef. I want to see progress. I don't care if it's little progress. I want to see progress. I want to see her moving in the right direction. I want to see her learning things. I don't want to see her sat in a corner. Which, you know... It's a fight. I feel like uh, the educational system is going to be a fight from the beginning to end. And my beef is all about the budget. But here's the thing. I don't care if you you screw all these other parents. You ain't screwing me. I want what my tax dollars says for my child. Excuse me, I have candy in my mouth. Sugar-free candy, by the way. So, if you have any questions, if I didn't cover anything fully... Let me know, but I feel like you really need to be attuned to what they're writing on that paper. If your child's first going in, I would have the people that are seeing your child now advise you. If you are in and you're going through IP, you can still have the developmental pediatrician or other people advise you too. But I would also look to see if they're repeating goals, if goals have been met, 
If so, are they met to your satisfaction? What do you, What is your issue? Because you need to put that all on the table when it's IEP time. IEP. Like, comment, subscribe, holla back. Autism, I'm strong. Yeah. Do anything for her, baby. You know that it's so amazing. Yeah. Autism, I'm strong. Uh -huh. Every day, autism, I'm strong. Boston, what up?